All right, guys, well, I just pulled back into a coyote hunting spot that's a pretty good spot for me uh, in summertime. Wintertime, it seems like they're not around, but summertime is pretty good. Last year, me and Cody killed a double out of here. Turned to fawn distress. We had a pair come in. He got both of them. Um, I drove in the road here. I instantly started looking at the, the, the dirt in the road on the way back here because last year it was just littered with uh, coyote tracks and... Sure shit, uh, take a look down here. Nothing but coyote tracks, just littered. Everything you can see there is coyote, coyote, coyote. It even looks like there might be a couple small ones in there. Maybe some pups getting out. But yeah, they're all over the place. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to get hiking back here. I have a pretty good feeling about tonight. Um, geez, these coyotes are just everywhere. Um, I would think we will call on a dog tonight. The only way we want is if they're possibly denned up to my left here. Um, there ain't no really good way to call that. It's too tall grass, too small, so I got to go back a little further. So. Hopefully they're back here and I don't walk by the suckers. <clears throat> so stay with me here and we'll be with you momentarily. Hopefully we got a, got some coyotes coming in. So here we go. Well, <clears throat> I think I just smoked one. I am 28 minutes into the call. And once again, second night in a row, schoolyard brawl. Brought this coyote in. I'm hunting, as you guys can see out here, I got a pine plantation. And uh, these pines have really grown up the last year. Usually you can see into them good. I figured one was gonna sneak in on me. All of a sudden I look and I see one coming through the pines. He's only at like 60 yards. He was right on top of the call, so I shut the call off. I tried anyways, and uh, I could just see some of the brown on his body, and I didn't think there was any way I was gonna get it on camera, but I, I believe I zoomed in right on him, I think. But he took off running. So it looks like I'm gonna have to go track a little bit. I don't know, he looked like he was hit pretty hard. Um. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Go check her out while we got some light left. Here we go. Well, I was sitting right up in this corner here. There's my chair. My call's right there on that little pine tree. And he somewhere on this road, coming up this road, but I couldn't see this road where the hell. Right there is where he spun and took off. Oh yeah, there's blood everywhere. That looks like a pretty good hit. So far. You can see where he was dancing around here. Hard to see the blood in this dirt. It's basically all dirt. I don't 
know. I kind of lost this trail here too. Hopefully I got him. Oh, there he is. Man, that is a crazy looking coyote. This thing is like red. Is that a fox? Is that a fox? Dude, what in the hell? Look at this coyote, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. That is insane. Absolutely smoked him. This coyote is literally red. It is a red coyote completely. I actually, the crazy thing about this is, is when he was coming in, I, I seen his head for a second and then he stopped. When I pulled my gun up looking through the scope, I couldn't see his head, I could just see body. And I'm like, is that a deer? I, the color of it, I thought it was a deer. I thought there's no way, I just seen it was a coyote. Well, then I got a glimpse of his ear sticking up, so I knew it was a coyote, but I thought maybe it just had a little bit of red on him. But this coyote is literally full-fledged red, like a burnt orange. It's absolutely crazy. I don't know if this video really shows the, the color of him, but absolutely insane. Look at the color of that thing. Male. Looks like an old dog on his, his face kind of looks just burly, but... Oh yeah, a lot of discoloration in his teeth there. Huh. What an insane looking dog, man. That's one of the coolest looking dogs I've ever shot. Well, I'm gonna drag him back up to my chair, guys.